Hello class, my name is Pamela Alba and today I'm going to show you how to make a picture pinwheel. First of all, I'm going to start by showing you the materials you need in order to complete this project. First, you need a piece of cardboard, clothespins, paint, whatever color you choose, paint brushes for the paint, a blade preferably or you can use a knife, something to cut the cardboard. Also, you're going to need a hot glue gun and a pen, pencil, and also a marker. Okay, now we're going to start with our cardboard first of all. And we're going to get our pen or pencil and trace a circle oh. around it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it as circular as you can. Right now, we're going to use the blade. To cut the circle, be very careful, make sure you put something on the bottom of the cardboard so you won't damage any furniture or anything that you're doing your cardboard on. Okay, now we're going to get our blade and start cutting it. Like I said, be very careful because it's very sharp. And make sure there's nothing around you that you can damage or that or anyone that can be harmed. Okay, let's finish cutting this. And just make sure you go over it twice so we can make sure all the cardboard is off and we don't have any left. Okay. Start taking it all. Oh, okay. okay, we're gonna start taking out the cardboard. If there's any edges left, right now we can take them off. Okay, so you're going to end up with a circle. Okay, now that we have cut out our circle, we're going to go ahead and paint it whatever color you want. Um, for this picture pinwheel, I'm going to make it for Valentine's Day, so therefore I'm going to use pink, red, and white paint. Most of the times, as us college students, we don't have a lot of money for like gifts or... It's mostly for books, tuition, you know. So this one I'm going to use it for Valentine's Day, you could even make it for a birthday or anything. So I'm going to get the pink, I'm going to get my paintbrush, and I'm going to start painting. Make sure all of your circle is painted and there's no brown edges showing, or brown of the cardboard. Okay, usually you, want, you don't want to use the smaller paintbrush, I'm using this kind of paintbrush, like a sponge paintbrush, but you can use anything honestly just as long as it does the job okay like i said be careful and make sure you put something on the bottom of your of what you're painting on or where you're doing your picture pinwheel because you don't want to damage any of the furniture or or clothes or anything because most of the time the paint is not washable and it won't come off so be careful Okay, we're going to go ahead and finish this, painting it. Let's make sure all the edges are painted in. There's no spots, so it won't look ugly. And let's go ahead and... You can even put a second coat, so you can make sure it won't, it won't look ugly and you won't see the cardboard anymore, and it will just be a pink circle. Okay, now I'm going to get my clothespins that I, that I have here. And you can choose a different color besides your circle. For this one, I'm going to use red. Okay, so we get our paintbrush. And 
all you're going to do is start painting the top of all the post pins. You can put a different color for each one of them or you can make them all the same color. For now, I'm using white and red. Those are the colors I'm using for the post pins. Okay, make sure they're all painted. This is just to give it more color and it will be a boring wooden clothespin. And these clothespins, you're going to use them in order to put them around your circle and put the pictures. So make sure you paint it all. You can also paint the inside of you like in order so it won't look like the wood. Make sure you paint it all. And make sure we're going to put our our clothespins to dry. We're going to use around, well, we're going to measure how many fit around our circle and that's how many we're going to use and that's how many we're going to paint. Okay, so let's leave these to dry and our circle to dry. Okay, so I'm finishing up gluing the clothespins. And I'm going to show you how it's going to end up looking. Okay, the last one. Okay, so now that you have all the close pins on, this is how it's going to look. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my markers. I'm using a silver sharpie, but you can use whichever. You can use a black sharpie or you can use a regular marker. Okay, and in the middle, I'm going to write, you can write a letter, or you can write a message, or you can put the date, whatever you want. For this one, I'm going to write, Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is how it ends up looking. I wrote, Happy Valentine's Day. And now, the last part is, you just need your pictures. You can put whatever pictures you want. Okay, and what you do is on the close fence, you're gonna start putting the pictures. Okay. Okay, let me get my pictures. You just start opening the close fence and start putting whichever pictures you want. Okay, just put all your pictures in order, however you want them. And I'm done. Just end up putting these. Just make sure you arrange them and make sure they're all inside the close things so they won't fall out. Okay, and this is how it ends up looking, guys. Let me show you. This is your picture pinwheel. And we're done.